Hello everybody. I am so excited that you're here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about something I get a lot of messages about, surprisingly an overwhelming amount of messages about this brand. So the brand is Ralph Lauren and I pick up a lot of items in this brand and all of their different lines and I have really good success with it. And a lot of you have reached out to me, especially when I did the keywords document and asked if I could create um, a basically a guide for buying Ralph Lauren. In fact, a lot of you told me that you would actually pay for something like that, but I thought I'd give it to you for free. I do have a lot of experience selling Ralph Lauren, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, all different kinds of labels and lines off of Ralph Lauren. In fact, some of uh, the most expensive pieces that I've ever sold have been by Ralph Lauren. It's definitely a brand worth looking into. A lot of people say they come across it, but they don't pick it up because they think it's somewhat of an older brand, which is true. Typically more mature people are buying Ralph Lauren. However, there are some really great pieces that you can find and flip for really great profits. One of the reasons I think I'm so successful with this brand is because I find a lot of it at the thrift stores. I wouldn't say an overwhelming amount, but I come across it pretty much every time I thrift. Now, do I pick up up every single piece? Absolutely not. And that really just goes for any brand. You never want to solely say this one brand pick up every single piece in this brand. But I do think that there's something to be said for if you're coming across a brand all the time and it's available to you frequently, that you probably should look into that brand to see what the more rare pieces are. Um, because if you're coming across it a lot, why wouldn't you want to pick it up. You have the most opportunity to source in that brand if you're coming across it all the time. That's what makes me laugh when some people refuse to pick up Old Navy or they refuse to pick up American Eagle. I wouldn't write a whole brand off, especially if you are coming across it often. Just do your research, do some quick comps and find out what the more rare pieces are because you are more likely to source them if that's what you're coming across in your area. So back to Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren is a brand that I frequently come across and so I do feel like I've gotten pretty good at determining what is valuable and what is not valuable within that brand and the lines of that brand. So Ralph Lauren has different labels, but they also have different lines. Some of the labels you might see in a title of a Ralph Lauren piece, purple label or black label. And then you might also see some of their lines like Lauren Ralph Lauren, Polo Ralph Lauren, LRL Sports, Lauren Jeans. There's also denim and supply by Ralph Lauren and chaps by Ralph Lauren. So there's a lot, a lot to uh, digest and to go through to figure out what is valuable and what isn't. And that's why I wanted to come on here today because so many of you have requested, I wanted to do a very quick deep dive into this brand and give you some really quick things that you can look for in this brand because it is extremely profitable. This video today is definitely not going to be a complete thorough deep dive of this brand. I could probably spend hours talking about this brand, but this is just uh, the on the surface quick things that you can look for. So the first thing that I did notice about this brand um, when I was doing comps is that it seems to be that the Ralph Lauren purple label is the most valuable. So if you come across a Ralph Lauren purple label, you've probably got some really good profits on your hands. And if you do pick it up, you're gonna wanna make sure to put purple label in your title. And the least expensive line or label, in my own opinion, from my experience with this brand is Chaps Ralph Lauren. This seems to do me no good <laughs> to pick this up. Now, obviously, if there were a really special piece, um, a more substantial piece, I might consider it. But in general, I tend to steer away from Chaps Ralph Lauren, it seems to be the least valuable, the least sought after, and the lowest sell through rate. We talk a lot in my videos about factors that add value. And in this brand, I do think that there are some really specific factors that you can look for in Ralph Lauren and any of the lines within Ralph Lauren that will add value and some key things to look for as you're going through to help differentiate what you should pick up and what you shouldn't pick up. Today, we're just gonna talk about factors that you should look for. And those factors are anything Western, anything super Western that's kind of um, 
what this brand is known for in my opinions when people think of ralph lauren i think they think of like really businessy and then they think of the really great western pieces that they have so anything super western anything super fringy anything with horse print on it anything equestrian that kind of ties into western um tends to be super valuable and add value in ralph lauren as well as anything aztec which again i think that all kind of falls under um, they are a little bit different, but it all kind of falls under the same category and the same aesthetic. Western, Aztec, and equestrian styles do very, very well and are definitely factors that you want to look for in this brand. As we're going through these, I am speaking to both men's and women's pieces. Another factor that you really want to look for um, are really nice materials in this brand. Anything wool and anything cashmere even silk really really ups the value in ralph lauren now i feel like that's really true for any brand but you could take a ralph lauren sweater and sell it for 20 to 25 dollars that is made out of cotton but then if it becomes cashmere you're looking at like a 50 and up uh resell value which is a significant jump compared to most brands. I feel like materials really add significant value in this brand. Speaking of sweaters, anything cable knit really seems to also add substantial value to Ralph Lauren pieces. And again, we're talking about any line in this brand, this seems to add value. And then last factor I wanted to talk about that adds value is vintage. It seems to me that the newer Ralph Lauren pieces definitely in general do not sell for as much as the vintage pieces. So anything really vintage means it's more rare and more sought after. That's why people like vintage. It's typically more unique and hard to find. And so that typically adds a lot of value into Ralph Lauren pieces. So those are some factors that I would look for when you are trying to determine what you should pick up and should look into versus what you should leave behind in Ralph Lauren pieces. Now, when it comes to bolos or like holy grails in this brand, I do think there are actually quite a few pieces within this brand that you can look for. Some of which I have found and some of which I have not found yet. And I'll tell you uh, the one that I'm really, really hoping to find someday at the end. So as far as bolos go, um, Again, this could be men's or women's, but I think a lot of these are steered more towards the men's wear pieces, um, but there are certainly ones in women's pieces that you can pick up as well. But I think in general, the bolos seem to be really for the men's pieces in Ralph Lauren. So number one would be leather jackets. Leather jackets are extremely valuable in this brand. That goes for both men's and women's especially if you can find anything lambskin, not just leather, but the more su supple leather of lambskin, that really helps to add value. And any time you pick up a leather jacket in this brand, you're looking at hundreds of dollars. Again, that's in my opinion, but I personally have sold men's and women's leather jackets in this brand or in one of those lines for over $100, sometimes over $200. Next would be leather handbags. So, so handbags are obviously more so going to be women's, but there are some men's bags that you could get. I just don't come across them like hardly ever, but the women's handbags, if they are made out of real leather, really have some value to them. So it's not just clothing, keep an eye out for those accessories too that are made out of real leather. Next would be anything that is super Aztec or Western print. Typically I'm thinking jackets or sweaters, but those, I mean, they're up there. If you find something like that in this brand, you definitely wanna pick it up. Now one caveat that I wanna say is the lower, in my opinion, the lowest line chaps by Ralph Lauren seems to be the lowest line and they make a lot of Western or aztec -y looking things, but they are significantly lower in quality than some of these other lines. And I tend to steer away from those now in chaps by Ralph Lauren, even if they are Aztec or Western print, I'm still typically staying away from those because that is, um, again, in my opinion, lower quality than everything else. So that's kind of the one caveat. If it's chaps, you might not want to pick it up in Western or Aztec, but 
really anything else after that has significant value. And you wanna look for the really loud Aztec Western prints. The next bolo would be anything cashmere. I've sold a lot of uh, Polo Ralph Lauren men's cashmere sweaters, and I just recently uh, picked up, I think it was a black label Ralph Lauren women's cashmere cardigan, and that sold extremely quickly. Typically when it comes to cashmere pieces, you're looking at anywhere from $50 and up pre-owned, and in my opinion, that's an amazing return on investment if you're just picking things up at the thrift store for cheap. So definitely want to look for cashmere. And honestly, this is something that I look for all times of the year in this brand. If I come across a Ralph Lauren cashmere piece in the dead of summer, I am definitely going to pick it up as long as there are no holes because it truly does have that much value. Next would be anything with large graphics or large pictures. What really comes to mind is the ski sweater. It doesn't have to be a ski graphic, but again, I've just sold that before. I'll post a picture up here. Um, but anything with a large graphic that catches your eye is definitely worth looking into in any of the lines of Ralph Lauren. Again, I sold this ski sweater um, and that's just what caught my eye was there was a giant graphic on it. And typically those pieces are more rare and something that you wanna look out for. Speaking of graphics, one particular one comes to mind, which is the Polo Bear which is one of their, I guess, I guess for lack of a better term, I'll call it like a mascot. Um, but anything with a polo bear on it is really highly sought after. I do think that the value has decreased um, a little bit since it first became popular and had attention drawn to it, but nonetheless, still really great profits to be made. Um, I sold one of the polo bear, just men's short sleeve t-shirts with the polo bear graphic on it. Wasn't one of the more rare ones, but I still sold that for 30 or $35. And that is a really quick flip because there's people looking for that. If you can find a more substantial piece you know, something other than a t-shirt, something like a jacket or a sweater, you're looking at even more profits. And if you go onto eBay or Poshmark or even just Google and you look up Ralph Lauren Polo Bear and just look at the images, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's a very giant graphic of a bear just living his best life, doing things. And then the very last Bolo that I wanted to cover and the one that I have not found and I look for every single time I go in the thrift store is one of the sportsmen or outdoorsmen line of Ralph Lauren. Now these are very easy to spot. There are, it's basically like all over graphics from all the ones that I've seen. Um, typically they are in like jackets or blazer kind of things, sometimes sweaters, um, but it's like all over graphic and it's focused on more of like an outdoorsy kind of graphic. I'll insert a couple of pictures up here so you know what I'm talking about. Um, but if you search uh, Ralph Lauren Outdoorsman or Ralph Lauren Sportsman, and then you go to the solds, you'll see exactly what I mean. It's extremely easy to pick up one of these. And so what I like to do is even though I don't typically go to like the blazer section, I'll just kind of glance down that aisle to just see if there's you know anything crazy graphic or out of the ordinary there i don't necessarily go through the entire section and then same thing with the um the jackets you know we're in the middle of warmer weather i'm not typically going to go through the entire jacket section but i will glance just to see if there's a couple of those bolos that i've been looking for still have not found one of those yet that is like the only bolo that i've really not found in this brand and hopefully someday I'll come across one. But those go for big money. I would consider that to be kind of like a holy grail. So I think that just about wraps it up for the quick breakdown of this brand today. Again, this was not a super in-depth, really thorough breakdown of Ralph Lauren and all the Ralph Lauren lines, but I feel like we scratched the surface and hopefully I gave you guys enough information that when you're out at your thrift store that you're not just passing on these pieces because you are passing profits. This brand can be extremely beneficial to you guys if you come across them and you know what you're looking for to add into your sourcing routine. Thank you guys so much to everyone that has tagged me on Instagram. I know probably the most amount of tags that I get in stories 
on Instagram are when people say, I purchased this Ralph Lauren piece and it sold for X amount and I learned this from Kaylee. Thank you so much to everybody that has done that. I, I'm glad that going over um, this brand briefly in some of my thrift hauls have really helped you, but I wanted to do a deep dive because I have been asked you guys have asked a lot. I, I get messages about this every week. So I'm hoping this is really helpful to you. Um, maybe more to come in the future. We can drill down into some more details of this brand, but hoping that was enough to get you by. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you come across this brand or any of its lines frequently. If you're not already and you would like to be notified when videos go live, maybe you really enjoyed this video and you think I have more content to offer you. P.S. I do. I have a lot more content to offer you, a lot more info. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when new videos go live and you can learn more about brands like these. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.